For many of us, the pandemic is a distant memory. New cases do not make us anxious. The world is not shutting down. The Wuhan virus is all but forgotten. But its impact on our body lingers on. If you're suffering from heart diseases, chances are it's linked to the Wuhan virus. If you're suffering from brain disorders, again, it could be the Wuhan virus. And then there are the vaccines. The world raced to get them out, but no one really looked at what the long-term effects could be. And those side effects are now surfacing. Our next report tells you why the Wuhan virus still continues to haunt us. Three years, 700 million cases, 7 million deaths, countries under lockdown, economies in shambles. The COVID-19 pandemic left a big impact on the world, but it's still not over. The virus may not be deadly anymore, but it has triggered a wave of other diseases. So what kind of diseases are we looking at? The first is cardiovascular disease. The virus has left people vulnerable to heart-related illnesses. One study says COVID-19 increases the rate of heart attacks by 8%. It increases the rate of strokes by 2%. Since the pandemic struck, 250,000 more Americans over the age of 35 succumbed to heart diseases. Almost 700,000 Americans died from heart disease in 2020, the highest in any year since 2001. But the lines are blurry. Scientists don't know how many are directly related to COVID and how many are due to indirect complications from it. But it's not just the heart that was affected by COVID-19. The virus led to a slew of other conditions. There was lung damage. In India, 49% still report shortness of breath. 27% experience cough. This is months after they were infected. People who have had COVID-19 have a 43% increased risk for autoimmune diseases. COVID-19 can also lead to a slew of other problems like hypertension, diabetes, lung fibrosis, asthma, erectile dysfunction, menstrual changes. The list goes on and on. COVID-19 can even lead to nervous system problems. And all of this doesn't show up immediately. It could take years for the symptoms to emerge. So COVID-19 and its effects linger on. But what about vaccines? During the pandemic, they were a lifesaver, a beacon of hope for the world. But it isn't all good. A new study has analyzed 99 million vaccinated people and it links vaccines to a slew of brain, heart and blood illnesses. Then there are autoimmune disorders like the Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's a rare autoimmune disorder. It's reported among those who took the AstraZeneca shots. So COVID-19 may not be as prevalent and new cases may be rare. Countries may have opened up, but the effects linger on even after four years and it's unlikely that they will disappear anytime soon.